Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to start something off new this year. We're going to do Mac Tip Monday. Mac Tip Monday is where I'll share something uh, simple or advanced for the Mac and kind of just show you uh, what some things are that you can do with your Mac uh, that may help enhance what you're doing. I'll also recommend an app at the end of each video. So let's go ahead and start this one off with locking your Mac. So this little lock up here, I get a lot of questions as to how do I get the lock in the top menu? And that lock allows you to quickly lock your computer. So let me go ahead and do that. If I click on this, I can lock the screen. It goes to my screensaver or whatever you have selected. So let's go ahead and put in my password and we're back. So if you need to step away from your desk, you don't want someone else using it, you can lock this. You can also tell it to lock based on the screensaver and how often uh, you want it to go to that lock screen. So let's go ahead and turn that on. We can search for keychain is what we're looking for by using Spotlight up here in the corner. You can see I searched for it before. Here's keychain access. If you want to get to it a different way, we can go to the finder, we can go to applications, we can go down to utilities, and in here you'll see keychain access. So we'll open keychain access, you can see here's my keychain and what it lets us do is by going to keychain access at the top and then we go to preferences here we have the option to show it in the menu bar so we can uncheck it you can see it's gone now if I check it it reappears and it's a really nice quick way to lock your computer so let me go ahead and close this we'll close keychain access and now we can lock our computer. Now if you need to set that password and you don't have a password on your Mac, you'll need to do that under System Preferences. And you can go under Users and Groups, and you have the ability to actually change your password. If you don't have one, you still want to use that button. Uh, if it doesn't allow you to do that, you want to unlock to make changes here. So you just click the lock, it asks for your login, and now you can change your password. And it makes it a little nicer as far as being able to log into your computer and lock it when you need to do that. You can also set that based on your screensaver and things like that, uh, how often it goes to sleep. Once it goes to sleep, it can lock, and uh, there's a couple different preferences for you to check out there. So that's Mac Tip Monday as far as the, this tip goes. Now the application that I want to recommend has been out for a while, and I use it every day pretty much when I'm rendering videos, things like that, and it is this little coffee cup up here. This is a free app, and it's called Caffeine. It can be had in the App Store. Let's go ahead and open that up, and if you search for Caffeine, many times it's in the top free apps, but if we search for Caffeine, you'll find it there. So we'll search for it, and I must have spelled it wrong. We'll just do that. There we are. So Caffeine, you can see it's right here. It's a free app, and what it does is allow you to keep the computer awake just by simply clicking this little button up here at the top in the menu bar. So next to my lock, you can see I have caffeine. If I click on that, it keeps my computer awake. If I right-click it, I have some preferences, and we have automatically start at login and show this message when starting caffeine, which I really don't care about. And then we have a duration of how long to keep everything awake. So we can do this indefinitely. Uh, we have five to five minutes to five hours. So it's up to you what you want to do. And then we can activate caffeine at launch. And I don't want to do that. So let's close this. Simply install. And there you'll have caffeine. It's a great application. Now since this is a new thing for us here on Zolo Tech, uh, if you have any recommendations or things you've seen on other people's Macs that you're wondering how they're doing it, please go ahead and place those in the comments or send me a message. If you have any app recommendations, please go ahead and place them below and check back for any new updates. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.